So, queen excluders on beehives. If you've got a two box brood nest, um, you don't always have to have a queen excluder. If you're careful about putting your honey boxes on, the bees will fill up the honey fast enough that the queen won't move up into your honey boxes. However, if you're using a single box, you have to use a queen excluder. Now, the problem with queen excluders um, is that, well, the purpose, of course, is to stop the queen going through them, but the holes are just big enough for a worker to go through and not the queen. The disadvantage is, of course, it slows the movement of bees from your brood nest up into your honey box. And that can be a real issue. It, again, anything that slows that down is going to affect your honey production. But what they do make is they make some excluders now with an extra entrance at the top. And the advantage is that is that the bees don't have to walk through the excluder all the time. So what happens when a bee comes back to the hive with the nectar load, it doesn't go and put it into a honey frame at all. What it does is it passes it on to a house bee who then goes and takes and packs it up. So if you had a single depth box like this hive, you've single net brood nest, the workers are down by the entrance somewhere, they pick it up and each one has to crawl through the through the small holes in the excluder to make the honey get it to um, produce honey. So it does make it more difficult. Although we don't have data on it, these, these um, queen excluders with this top entrance, I think if we looked at them, what we'd find is there's a lot of house bees waiting up on top of the excluder, waiting for bees to come through. So you don't have all the struggle going through the excluder all the time to pack honey away. So we don't have data from it, but certainly what it looks like and the way to check is to lift your box up off your excluder and see if there's a lot of bees waiting there. And if there is, then that's probably a really good pointer to why it's good to have that extra entrance. The other thing you find with excluders is there's two or three ty types. There's, you can buy excluders that have got wooden rims. I'm really not a fan of them because the way I do my beekeeping, they get broken very easily and you've got to throw away an excluder. You can, f you can get plat flat plastic ones. The disadvantage with that is there's less room for the bees to get through because it's sitting flat on the frames. So it's only between the frames that the bees can go up and down through that excluder. So it slows these things down again. You can find these ones here that have, like this one, that have got one lip on it. Or you can find other ones, which I'll show you in a second, that have two lips. The two lips ones are probably the best. And the wooden ones, of course, have two lips as well as the, some plastic ones now. And they have the advantage that it's, the excluder is lifted off the frames so the bees can walk over the, on top of the frames even and walk through the excluder. So again, it makes it even a little easier. And I'll just show you a couple in hives. So there's a little bit of a honey flowing go, going on. The bees have produ been producing some honey. Be, let's have a look at some. They're keeping busy. And of course, all this honey that they're collecting now, they had to bring it all the way through this excluder. And you see, this is a flat excluder. And you can see that they've even started building wax where the frames are. So they're actually blocking up some of the excluder so the bees can't walk it through, walk through. If you had one with a decent edge on it, then that probably wouldn't happen and it would leave even more room for bees to be able to take things through the excluder. So this is a queen excluder that has a top entrance. So as well as bees coming into the hive down the bottom, they can also come in through the top of the hive here as well, which just makes it much, probably makes it much faster to be able to pack honey away. So there's not all that mess of all the house bees with nectar flow having to come up through the excluder. So you can see bees could just come in through here, so they don't all have to come up through the excluder. The advantage of this excluder is that with its top entrance, the bees don't all have to come up through the excluder to get back into the hive. Just probably speeds things, I say we don't have any data for it, but it probably does speed up um, the actual putting of honey into the, into the comb. So in summary, if you are using queen excluders, the ones with a rim on are better because there's more space for the bees to move forward. And you might want to think about having a top entrance as well so that the bees don't, the house bees don't have to go through the excluder every time that they want to go and put honey away. It might just speed up those sorts of things and result in a slightly better, better production of honey.